Hi guys, this is Rajat from EV Mat. In this video, I'm going to talk about how Anand got to 750 in a fairly predictable manner. You're also going to see how um, Anand displayed diligence throughout his preparation, and you're going to see the metrics that we tracked for Anand to ensure that there were no surprises for him on the test day. But before we get to that, let's kind of start with some context. So, so Anand expected to score a 760 right from the get-go. He took his first mock, he scored a 590. Now his sister had gotten to a 760 within a month and hence he expected that. He prepared using books, he took a t bunch of mock tests. His highest mock score was a 740 and it was on the official mock. So when he took his first attempt, he expected to get to a score around that. And so worst case, he said it'll be a 720 or so. So when he saw 670, it was, it was a shock to him and it was like, hey, I put in all of this effort and it has gone to waste. Moreover, I've taken about 14 mock tests and, and if I can't trust the mock test scores, what is it that we should trust? Now let's talk about how we structured Anand's prep and here we are in Anand's account. Uh, you, you're going to see how he structured his prep, you're going to see how he was diligent throughout his preparation. I'm going to start with the master comprehension course. Why? Because verbal was one area where he needed to work. And the first thing that you notice over here is that he scored um, really well in both the concept and practice quizzes. There's one block that he didn't do completely that was skill building and then it has some files that we added post um, uh, Anand taking his GMAT. So whatever content was given to him, he finished that. Um, his true diligence comes in, in the SC and CR attempts. Um, you see excellent concept file scores, 96%, excellent practice quiz scores. You also see a good amount of time spent in, in difficult concepts such as always singular and, and words that change number and you see a perfect 100% score over here. Now. Uh, just to remind you, these are our actual evaluations. This is not file completion. Similarly, the time spent over here in, in all the singular subjects, um, SV application is the time that Anand spent. Different people, depending on their needs, spend a different amount of time and, and in our expert AI tracks all of that. Similarly, as you look at modifiers, you can see how he spent a ton of time mastering the meaning-based approach and, and, and mastering modifiers using that meaning-based approach. You can see really good practice skill scores, really good application file scores, and a good amount of time spent overall. So this is what we call as stage one of learning for SC. Let's kind of look at how he did in critical reasoning. And, and his diligence would show up in critical reasoning. This is the inference module within critical reasoning. It's one of the most comprehensive coverage of inference here. And you can see excellent scores in, um, in inference practice file quizzes. The only way you'd get 100% in the first attempt, and Anand only took first attempt, is if you were extremely diligent um, in the files prior to this. Let's go back. So he finished this, he finished the, the assumption modules, he finished the evaluate modules, and pretty much everything over here. Because he had this strong foundation at 97% in concept quizzes, 90% in practice quizzes, any gaps that he had were taken care of right here based on this feedback he was able to excel in scholarinium. So let's kind of walk through the scholarinium metrics. As we go there, you're gonna notice a couple of things. First of all, you know, he had about a thousand questions to practice. Actually, he could have gotten another 400 odd from, from mocks over here, but he didn't need to practice that much. The second thing, excellent metrics. I mean, you can see his accuracy in, in medium difficulty questions. You can see his accuracy in hard questions all above the threshold. Also, he improved as he got closer to the test. As you look at his last 20, you can see 90% accuracy in hard questions and critical reasoning, 85% in, um, in, in reading comprehension, and an excellent 65% in hard questions in, um, in SC. Also in SC, you can see that he went through the cementing process successfully, both cementing medium and cementing hard. And again, an 80% in cementing hard is a 95th percentile student. Similarly, in critical reasoning, good scores in medium cementing quizzes and excellent score in his hard cementing quizzes. So, similarly, on the quant side, if as we go ahead, actually go to his course dashboard in quant, I'm going to go into his geometry module. You can see how he used expert AI to, to, to focus on areas where he needed help. I'm going to look at his 2D2 module where he scored 100% in his GMAT schools diagnostic quiz. Consequently, he, he kind of recognized he didn't have to study a whole lot. However, in 2D1, he did not do as well, and consequently, he only did the portions that he needed to do. Why? Because conceptually, he was really good, so he focused on learning the process skill files, essentially saving a ton of time. 
again look at those excellent scores in GMAT skill files similarly he did other aspects of the quant course and as a result he was able to do extremely well in quant scholar and again very similar metrics let's move on to the hard questions look at those diff look at the the, the accuracies um, and, and they're all above the threshold again indicating that he's a q48 q49 kind of student so now when it comes to acing the gmat getting to a 750 only two personal students do it um one of the key attributes of someone who who's going to hit a 780 is the level of diligence that you show while learning it's kind of focus that you show while learning when you go through a 50 minute video lesson you go through it in a single go and you see this diligence in in in, in the way anant has attempted his course you see this diligence um, in, in how he has revised his mistakes. You see this diligence in how, and I'm going to move again to the critical reasoning course, he spent 75 minutes, six or six minutes on, on, on one file and, and done that in an unwavering manner. If you want to get to that 750 score, make sure you're willing to put in that effort. And if you need help, write to me at rajat.e-gmat.com.